to your mat, come to a comfortable seat on your mat, and we'll get started. And I just want you guys to know that it's difficult for me to see everyone because there's so many people in this class and you're really small. So I just want to remind you to please um, to listen to your body, to you know, modify as much as you need to. I will offer different modifications as we go through class. But um, it's really important that you take care of your body and um, know when to pause, when to rest, and um, to just follow your own um, wisdom there. So we still got more people popping in. Okay. Do you guys all see me? Well, you, I muted you. Not if you see me big on your screen. Okay, all right, great. Okay. So find a comfortable seat and we're just gonna um, take a few moments to center ourselves before we begin. So just bring your hands in front of your heart and close your eyes. We're gonna take three cleansing breaths together just to kind of let go of the external world and turn inward a bit. So take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through the mouth. And again, deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And again. And then just take a few moments. Take your feet out in front of you, feet hip width apart, and just bring your hands to your knees. And then we're gonna lean back. So let the background tuck your chin and just gently roll your head side to side to find a little stretch in the neck. Good. And then with the chin back towards the chest, we're going to do some sitting cat cows from here. So on your inhale, you're going to draw your heart forward, lift through the front of the body, draw the shoulders back and down and gaze up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, draw the belly button towards the spine, round the back, leaning back again so that the arms are straight. And just connecting the movement with the breath. So inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, rounding the spine. Do that a couple more times. Inhale. And exhale, rounding the spine. Just go ahead and do that a couple more times. And then just come to a tall spine here. Bring your hands to the mat behind you. Step your feet a little wider apart. And then we're just going to windshield wiper the knees side to side. Okay. And then sit up tall again. Let's bring the left foot in towards your inner right thigh and extend your right leg out wide. And just find your sits bones, sit up nice and tall. If you 
find it difficult to sit on the floor or your back round. Sometimes it's helpful to sit up on a little prop or a blanket or a pillow. And then bring the back of your right hand to the inside of the right leg. And then extend your left arm out behind you. And then just take a moment to open through the chest. Gaze over your right shoulder. So the goal here is to align both shoulders and your torso with that extended leg, okay? So trying to maintain that alignment, turn your gaze back to your left hand. And then as you inhale, follow the hand with your gaze, reach the left arm up across the sky and over towards your right toes, although they'll probably not come anywhere near the toes. And then just open your chest. Draw the shoulders back. Ground through that left sits bone. And as you inhale, see if you can find more length on both side bodies. As you exhale, reach a little further. And then inhale, reach towards the sky, coming back to center and release that left arm down. Now we're gonna rotate towards the right enough so that your sternum is centered over that extended leg. And then keep your right fingertips on the floor to maintain that alignment, but inhale the left arm up towards the sky. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, reach forward and fold. So you're reaching for the outside of that right leg or foot. And then breathe in, lengthen your heart towards your toes. As you breathe out, draw the low belly in, maybe bending through that left elbow a bit, trying to draw the left ribs a bit closer to your right thigh. And just breathe here in the stretch for a few moments. With your next inhale, we're gonna to start to flow with the breath. So you're gonna lift the chest, sweep that left arm around to the mat behind you. Inhale, reach the right arm overhead, lift the hips towards the sky and find this nice lateral stretch to the right side body. And then as you exhale, the hips come back down. We're gonna sweep the arms around again to fold over the extended leg. And we're gonna do that twice more. So inhale, lift up, take the left hand behind you, right arm reaches overhead as you lift the hips. And then exhale, we're gonna sweep the arms around, folding over that extended leg. And then last time, inhale. Reach overhead with that right arm. This time we're gonna hold here for a breath or two, opening your heart towards the sky, pressing the hips forward. We'll take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, release back down. Okay. And then we'll switch sides. So bring that right foot in, extend the left leg out. Find the sits bones. Take the back of the left hand to the inside of the left leg and extend the right arm out behind you. And then again, just take a moment to gaze over your left shoulder. Try to align your torso and both shoulders with that extended leg. And then gaze back at your right hand. As you inhale, sweep it across the sky, reaching over towards those left toes, but keep the heart open in that top, top shoulder drawing back. Breathe in to find more length through both side bodies. Breathe out to lengthen out a little bit more. Always trying to stay connected to your breath.
And then inhale, reach up towards the sky and release that right arm down. And now we're gonna twist just a little bit to the left until our sternum is centered over that extended leg. And then keeping your left fingertips on the floor, we're gonna inhale the right arm towards the sky. As you exhale, lengthen out, hinge at the hips and fold over the leg, reaching for the outside of the leg or maybe the foot. And just breathing into this forward fold, trying to find a little more length in the spine. And maybe bending through that right elbow, trying to bring the right ribs closer to the left thigh. With your next inhale, reach long through that right arm. Ground the sits bones as you rise all the way back up. Oh, I'm sorry, we've got our flow. Come back down. All right, so now on your next inhale, we're going to lift the chest. We're going to sweep the right hand to the mat behind us. Left arm overhead, lift the hips. And then exhale, the hips come down. We swivel the arms around, fold over the extended leg. And then inhale. Reach that left arm overhead as you lift the hips. And exhale, coming all the way back down and around. And then one last time, inhale, lift the hips. Hold here for a couple of breaths. Maybe opening the heart a little bit more, finding a slight back bend, if that's accessible. We'll take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, release back down. Okay, from here, let's bring the soles of the feet together out in front for a bound angle or butterfly, Baddha Konasana. So um, find a comfortable distance. You don't have to have the feet in as close to your body as possible. Maybe it feels better to have them kind of far away. So just find what feels right to you. And then hold on to the ankles or the shins. And just sit up nice and tall, draw the shoulders back and down. Lengthen out to the crown of the head. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, hinge forward, drawing the heart towards the toes. With your next exhale, you can let the back round, let the head drop a little further. And then on your next inhale, come all the way back up. Now, bring the feet in a little closer. Take your peace sign fingers and wrap them around the big toes. Lift through the heart, draw the shoulders back. And then we're gonna come into our first balance pose. So leaning back. Now, if you're on a pillow or a prop, that might be a little more difficult. So you might need to come off. But we're gonna lean back enough to hopefully lift our heels off the floor. Okay, so keep the heart lifted. The back rounds, you might go falling backwards which can be kind of fun, but for now, we're gonna lift through the heart. Okay, now we're gonna see if we can extend one leg straight-ish. So it might stay bent here, here, or if it's successful, you can straighten it. And then bring that foot back in. And then we'll extend the other leg. So any amount that feels good to you, keep the heart lifted, shoulders drawing back, Bring that foot back in, and then inhale, extend both legs. Again, shoulders back and down, heart lifted. And now bring the feet together, and maybe let go of the toes, and you can hold on to the back of the thighs, or maybe bring your hands to the mat behind you. Okay, keep the heart lifted, bring the big toe mounds together, spread the toes wide. 
And then maybe on your exhale, you open up and lower down a little bit. And then inhale, come back up. If you want to challenge yourself a bit, you could reach your hands forward. But please feel free to hang on to the legs or the floor if you need to. Just getting a little core work in here. And then release your feet to the floor. Hug your knees. Tuck your chin. Just give yourself a little embrace here. Resting for a moment. And then inhale, sit up tall. But from here, we're going to come onto our hands and knees. So come into a table position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. So knees hip width apart. We're going to come into a little different version of a cat cow here. So exhale, just bring your hips back to your heels. Maybe walk the hands forward a little bit more. And then inhale, we're going to lift to cat pose. So arching the back towards the sky. And on that same inhale, shifting forward a bit for mild up dog. So just opening the chest and gazing up towards the sky. Then on your exhale, move through cat pose again and bring the hips back to the heels. So moving with the breath again, inhale, curl up through cat, coming to a mild up dog. Exhale, belly draws in, arch the back, bring the hips to the heels. Inhale, through cat to up dog. This time hold here in this up dog and be gentle. You don't have to go too far. We're still early in our practice. But from here, just gaze over one shoulder and drop the opposite hip a little bit towards the floor, gazing back towards your toes. And then inhale to center and exhale, gazing over the other shoulder. And then inhale back to center. Good. Now, shift the hips back, tuck your toes under. We're going to come into downward facing dog. But keep the knees deeply bent for at least the first three breaths. And just find a little movement here. Just shifting side to side in the hips. Maybe walking out the legs. And taking a few breaths here in your down dog. Now, take your gaze towards the top of your mat. Just start to walk your feet forward, coming into a forward fold. So feet hip width apart, maybe hands to opposite elbow crease, tuck your chin, bend the knees as much as you need to, and just let the head drop towards the floor. Okay, now release the hands, bend the knees a lot. Inhale your arms up in front, coming into a chair pose. So the hips are going back. As you gaze down, your knees should not go past your toes. Okay, and we're just trying to find a nice neutral curve in the low back. And then biceps are up alongside the ears, unless you have some discomfort in the shoulders, in which case you could either cactus your arms or bring your hands to your hips. Okay. If the arms are reaching forward on your exhale, we're going to just hinge a little deeper, sweep the arms behind you. Inhale, sweep the arms forward again. Exhale, sweep the arms down and back. 
This time, inhale, sweep the arms forward, press into the feet, keep your gaze down, slowly rise all the way up to standing, and then exhale your hands to heart center. Good. So feet should still be hip width apart. Okay. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Interlace the fingers and turn your palms up towards the sky. Find a nice long stretch through both side bodies here. Then on your exhale, bend the knees a little bit. Take your left foot back and to the right. And then we're going to reach our arms over to the right for kind of a curtsy lateral stretch. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bending the knees, step your right foot back and to the left. Reach your arms to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, cactus your arms. Ground through your heels, squeeze the low ribs together, and then inhale, lift the entire front body as the shoulder blades draw towards each other on your back. So find a slight back bend in the upper back, and then inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward. Now inhale to a half lift. So bring your hands to your shins or maybe your thighs and try to bring your torso parallel to the ground. Draw the shoulder blades back towards the hips. Draw the navel in towards your spine. Lengthen from the tailbone to the crown of the head. And then just notice where the weight is in your feet. Sometimes we have a tendency to either lean back into the heels or lean into the toe mounds. See if you can evenly distribute the weight throughout the feet. Take one more deep breath in, and then exhale, fold. Okay. Now bend your knees as much as you need to to plant the hands on the mat, and we're going to step the left leg back for a lunge. So you're going to try to maintain the right knee right over the ankle, and then we're actively pressing back through that back heel. Engage the inner thighs. Draw the shoulders back and take your gaze a little bit toward beyond the top of your mat. Good. Now drop that back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, draw the low belly in, bring your hands to heart center. So we're pressing a little bit into that front foot. From here, we're going to move into a twist. So we're going to Bring the left elbow to the right knee, press the palms together, and turn your sternum towards your thumbs. Now, if it's difficult for you to get your elbow on your knee, you can just bring the hands to the thighs and find a twist here. Okay. So modify however you need to, just so that you're getting some kind of twist. And then bring your focus back to your breath. Expanding through the torso with each breath in, creating some space. And each time you breathe out, just think of drawing that angle in, maybe finding a slightly deeper expression of this pose. If you want an extra challenge, you could tuck your back toes under and lift that back knee. Good. Inhale, return to center, and bring your hands back to the mat. Now we're going to shift our hips back to stack over that left knee, and we're going to straighten the front leg. So I kind of like to walk that front leg forward just a little bit to keep my hips aligned over that back knee. And then your choice, you can either reach the toes towards the floor, which brings a nice stretch to the ankle and the front of the leg. If you get shin splints, this is a really nice stretch. Or if you want to get into the hamstrings, you can flex the foot, drawing the toes back towards your knee. And then slightly shift that right hip back, left hip forward, and maybe fold over the leg.
And then on your next inhale, we're gonna bend that front knee again, walk the hands forward, tuck the back toes under and lift the back knee. And then from here, we're gonna step back to plank. So shoulders should stack over the wrist. Make sure that your fingers are spread really wide. Squeeze the sits bones together and draw your belly button towards your spine. This is a really nice strengthening pose for the entire body. So just continue to breathe. And then as you exhale, drop your knees, bring your chest and chin to the mat. So the elbows hug in, the butt stays in the air for a moment, and then untuck your toes and come all the way onto your belly. So from here, we'll just move through a few versions of Cobra. So keep the hands on the mat by your low ribs, keep the shoulders lifted and the elbows hugging in. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. And as you inhale, lift the head and chest and one leg. Reach the toes towards the wall behind you and the heart towards the wall in front of you. And then exhale, release. Forehead and feet on the floor. Inhale, lift the head and chest and the other leg, reaching the toes back and the heart forward. And then exhale, release. Inhale, we're gonna lift the head and chest and both feet. So navel draws in, the heart is lifted, the elbows are hugging the body. And then exhale, release. Inhale, push up through table. Tuck your toes under. We're gonna come into another downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths here. Feel free to move or be still. Child's pose is always available. If you want to come into child's pose instead, you can rest hips to heels. Okay, so let's take our gaze forward again. And then when you're ready, just walk towards the top of your mat. Coming into a forward fold again. And this time, let's bend the knees a little deeper and interlace the hands behind the back. Tuck your chin. And maybe try lifting the hands up and away from the body. Keep the chin tucked. And just finding a little shoulder stretch here. and then release the hands down. Inhale to that half lift again. So once again, bringing your torso parallel to the floor, hands either on the thighs or the shins, shoulders drawing back, crown of the head reaching forward, and then exhale, release. You should be at the top of your mat here. So now bend your knees. This time we're gonna step the right leg back for lunge. Left knee stacking over the left ankle, squeezing the inner thighs towards each other as you actively press back through that back foot. Coming onto your fingertips, heart slightly lifted. Take a deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, bring that back knee to the floor. Press into the front foot, draw the navel in and reach your arms towards the sky. And then exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Again, navel draws in. And then we're going to twist. So if you can, bring your right elbow to the knee. Open your chest towards your thumbs. Or just bring both hands to the thigh and find a twist from there. It's a little bit of a balance pose as well. Just stay connected to your breath. Again, option to lift the back knee, if you'd like a little more challenge. Good. 
and then inhale back to center. Bring your hands back to the mat. If the back knee's lifted, go ahead and take it down. We're going to shift the hips back again, stacking hips over the right knee and walking the front leg straight. So here again, you have a choice. You can draw the sole of the foot towards the floor to stretch through the front of the leg and ankle, or you can get into the hamstrings by drawing the toes back towards the knee. And then gently draw left hip back, right hip forward, heart towards the toes, and then just folding forward. And then on your next inhale, we're going to bend that front knee again, shifting forward. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, and step back to plank. So think of dropping the hips here, but lifting through the inner thighs. And pretend to drag the hands towards one another as you draw the shoulder blades onto the back. You can always modify this by taking one or both knees to the floor, if need be. If it's one knee, just make sure you switch at some point. Then now on your exhale, drop both knees. Bring the chest to the floor between the thumbs. The elbows hug in, butt stays in the air for just a moment. And then untuck your toes, come all the way onto your belly. So just like we did before, keep the hands on the mat by your low ribs. Start by pressing the tops of the feet into the floor, forehead resting on the mat, shoulders lifting away from the floor. Now inhale, draw your heart forward and lift one leg. So the toes are reaching back, the heart is reaching forward, we're lifting, and then exhale, release. Inhale, lift the head and chest and the other leg. And exhale, release. Inhale, lift the head and chest and both legs. So keep the legs straight, reach the toes back, heart forward, hug the elbows in, shoulders drawing back. Your gaze is down at the floor towards the top of your mat and then exhale, release. Inhale, push up through table, tuck your toes under and come back to downward facing dog or child's pose. So we'll take a few breaths here in either pose. So down dog is intended to be a resting pose, but it takes a lot of practice to actually be restful in that pose. So do what you need to do. See if you can settle your breath. And the more you focus on your breath, the more present you'll be in your practice. So that's really key. Good. Inhale and gaze forward. And as you exhale, let's walk towards the top of the mat again. Feet hip width apart in our forward fold. We're going to come into chair pose again. So bend the knees deeply. Inhale the arms forward and up. Again, if you've got some shoulder injury or just some discomfort in the shoulders, practice works or hands on the hips. Okay, but the hips are going back so the knees don't go past the toes. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, sweep the arms down and back, holding over the bent knees. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, sweep the arms down and back. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Now press into the feet, keep your gaze down, slowly rise all the way to standing. And then exhale, hands to heart center. 
Take a few moments here, close your eyes. Feel your feet planted firmly on the ground. Feel the crown of the head lifting towards the sky. With your next inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms as you draw the tailbone down. Squeeze the low ribs together. Lift your front body towards the sky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge through heart center. Come into a forward fold. And then inhale to that half lift just for one breath. And exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, plant your hands, step the left leg back for a lunge. I'm going to turn around this time. So now drop that back heel, and we're going to windmill our arms up to a warrior two pose. So we want that front, that bent knee to stack right over the ankle. And our tendency is for that knee to sickle in a little bit. So draw the knee more towards the pinky toe edge side of the foot. And then the back foot, you're grounding through the outer edge. And then tuck the tailbone slightly. Try to keep the shoulders stacked over the hips. Gaze out over your front fingertips. And on your inhale, we're going to press into both feet. Reach the arms towards the sky and straighten both legs. And then exhale, come back to your warrior two. Don't let that knee sickle in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Now hold here. Turn both palms towards the sky. And then we're going to take that back arm, wrap it behind the low back. Inhale, reach the front arm up and overhead. So keep that bent knee stacked over the ankle. And then inhale, we're coming to a five-pointed star here. So toes turn out, arms reach up towards the sky. And then exhale, bend the knees deeply. Take the knees out wide. Draw your heart back to keep the shoulders stacked over the hips. Okay, our tendency here is to kind of lean forward. So draw the heart and the shoulders back. And then inhale, reach up, five-pointed star. Exhale again, deep bend in the knees, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, goddess. And then last time, inhale, reach up. And this time, we're just going to take warrior two facing the other way. Okay? So let's, hopefully you guys aren't, you might be having your back to me, but we've done this once before, so you'll know what to do. <laughs> so the knee, the front knee is bent at a right angle. We're grounding through the outer edge of that back foot. Arms are extending out from the shoulders, and you're gazing out over the front fingertips. Draw the tailbone down, squeeze the little ribs together. On your inhale, press into the front foot, reach your arms up overhead, and straighten the front leg. And then exhale, return to warrior two. Inhale, reach up, straighten the leg. Exhale, warrior two. One more time. Exhale, warrior two. Now pause here. Turn both palms towards the sky. Take the back arm and wrap it behind the low back. And then inhale the front arm up and overhead. Keep that right angle in the front knee. And then inhale to five-pointed star again. So facing the side of your mat, arms are reaching up and wide, toes are turned out, and then exhale, 
Hands to heart center, deep bend in the knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, deep bend in the knees, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Now turn the toes in, heels out, release the hands behind the back. Inhale, lift through the heart. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, letting the shoulders come away from the ears. Just breathing here in this forward fold, staying grounded in the outer edges of the feet. And then release the hands, bring them to the mat just below your chest, maybe you're on your fingertips. Really ground through the outer edges of the feet and engage your inner thighs. Draw the belly towards the spine, and then bring your hands to your hips, elbows pointing up. Stay strong in the core, and on your next inhale, rise all the way to stand. And then heel toe your feet together, and we'll come back to the top of our mat. So moving into a little balance pose here, we'll come into your tree pose. So start with your feet hip width apart, starting with a nice solid foundation. So spread out your toes, really root through all corners of your feet. So big toe mounds, little toe mounds, and the heels. Bring your hands to heart center. Reach up to the crown of your head. Find a focal point. We call that a drishti in yoga. So a non-moving spot somewhere in front of you. I like to do mine kind of where the floor meets the wall. And then we're gonna shift our weight into our right foot and turn the left toes out to open the hip. And then draw that left heel in. Okay. So if you feel a little wobbly and you've got a wall close by, you're welcome to stand near a wall for some extra support. Okay. And then here, just really think of like engaging the inner thighs and lifting and drawing your energy up through the center, up through the crown of the head. If you want a little more challenge, you could lift the foot a little higher as long as it's not on the knee. So it can come to the calf or maybe to the inner thigh and then you're gonna press the foot into the thighs, the thigh presses back into the foot. So we're engaging energy along the midline. If you feel stable here, you could extend the arms towards the sky. And then draw the shoulders down the back, squeeze those low ribs, keep the core engaged and stay connected to your breath. And if you wobble or fall out, just have a little fun with it. Everything seems serious enough these days. We have to allow ourselves to at least have a little fun in our yoga practice. If you're looking for even more challenge, you could try closing your eyes or maybe lifting the heart and gazing towards the sky. You really get a good feel for how much we rely on our sight and our vision in our balance poses if you try closing your eyes or moving your gaze. So take one more breath in. And then exhale slowly and gracefully, releasing back to standing and then just shaking it out. And then we'll switch sides. So again, always starting with that foundation, that strong base. So feet hip width apart, toes spread wide, grounding through the big toe mound, little toe mound, and heel. Engage your core, bring the hands to heart center, find your drishti. And then we'll shift our weight into our left foot, take the right toes out to open the hip and draw the heel in. And then engaging through the inner thighs, drawing the muscles of the pelvic floor in and up and lifting through the crown of the head. Option 
to take the foot a bit higher if you'd like, as long as it's not pressing into the knee. And then if you feel stable, you can extend the arms up. Playing around with different versions of this if you'd like. Shifting your gaze, maybe even inviting a little more movement into this pose can be challenging. Maybe it's on purpose, maybe it's not. <laughs> Take one more deep breath here. And then exhale slowly and gracefully, releasing and shaking it out. Okay. All right. Let's take a deep breath in. Reach the arms out and up. We start to make our way down to the floor. So exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward. Let's inhale for a half lift again. Bringing your torso parallel to the floor, making sure you're not locking the knees. And then exhale, fold again. And now watch your feet a little wider apart. Turn your toes out, and we're going to come down into a squat. And I know this is not accessible to everybody, so you might be here, which is going to be more work, but don't worry, we won't be here too long. So just coming to whatever kind of squat you can and finding some length in the spine. We'll stay here for one more breath. And then as you exhale, bring your hands to the mat behind you and come to seated. Okay. And then we're actually going to lay back. So hold on to your knees. Roll back and hug your knees into your chest. And just rock a little bit side to side here. Okay, now bring your knees to stack over your hips and your legs parallel to the floor. So we're looking for a right angle at the hips, the knees and the ankles, so your feet are flexed. Okay, and then just rest your arms on the floor, maybe in cactus. As you exhale, you're gonna press your low back down into the floor. So if you imagine a little bug crawling across your mat, you're gonna squish it with your low back, which is a very yogic like, I know, but it's just a good visual. <laughs> so think of squashing that butt, and then on your inhale, you're just gonna soften and release the effort, and then exhale, press the low back down. Try not to let the knees come towards your chest. Try to maintain those right angles. And just softening on each inhale, and on each exhale, pressing that low back down. Good. And then hug your knees in again, rock a little side to side. Just taking a little break here. All right, and then coming back into the same position again. So right angles at the hips, the knees, and the ankles. Okay. Feet flexed, arms rest on the floor, either in cactus or T. We're going to do the same thing again, where we press the low back down into the mat, but this time we're going to keep pressing down as we continue to breathe. Okay, so keep squashing that bug. <laughs> keep breathing. You're really working the lower abdominals here. Don't let the knees come in towards your chest. Good. And then hug the knees in, rock side to side. Good. Now release the feet to the floor. Knees stay bent. Knees and feet hip width apart. Take your arms into a T. Pick up your hips, scoot them two inches to the left. Cross the left knee over the right knee. And then drop your knees over to the right for a twist. Okay, if you don't like wrapping your legs for your twist, 
then you can certainly adjust and modify. So just finding any kind of twist here that feels good to you. You know, always modifying and personalizing your practice for you. And then just close your eyes and your twist and really breathe into the body and expand, create some space and expansion. And then as you exhale, just let everything go. Just let yourself get heavy on the floor. And then on your next inhale, coming back to center, uncrossing the legs. And now we'll shift the hips two inches to the right, cross right leg over left, and drop the knees to the left to twist on the other side. And again, modify this. If you don't want to wrap the legs, you don't have to. Do whatever you need to do so that you can enjoy this twist. And then settle in, close your eyes. Take a deep, expansive breath in. And then just exhale to let go, to surrender. Just let the twist happen. No effort on your part. And then inhale, coming back to center. Realigning yourself along the midline of your mat. And then hug the knees in again. Squeeze the knees in really tight. On your exhale, lift your head up, curling into a little tiny ball. And then inhale, release. And we're going to stretch out for Shavasana, or final relaxation. So just extend your legs long. Maybe take them wide. Let the arms... Come away from the body, palms face up, shoulders drawing underneath the back, shoulder blades underneath the back. And then just close your eyes and let yourself feel really heavy, feeling the earth supporting you. Staying connected to your breath, but not changing it, just being a witness to the breath. Finding that space somewhere between consciousness and unconsciousness. Like that moment just before you drift off to sleep. When time seems to stand still and nothing else matters. Just you and your breath.
So continue to lie still with your eyes closed. As I read to you this poem that someone sent me this week. So this was written in the 1800s. And the author's name is Kathleen O'Meara. And it really just kind of um, is very fitting for today. And the people stayed home and read books and listened and rested and exercised and made art and played and learned new ways of being and stopped and listened deeper. Someone meditated, someone prayed, someone danced, someone met their shadow. And people began to think differently and people healed. And in the absence of people who lived in ignorant ways, dangerous, meaningless, and heartless, even the earth began to heal. And when the danger ended and people found each other, grieved for the dead people, and they made new choices and dreamed of new visions and created new ways of life and healed the earth completely, just as they were healed themselves. So just begin to introduce some small movements back into your body by wiggling your fingers and your toes, your hands and your feet. And extend the arms out long overhead, reaching long through one side of the body and then the other, and then both. And then draw the knees in towards your chest and roll to one side in a fetal position. Just taking a few more moments to savor this peace and calm. And then keep your eyes closed as you make your way back to seated. And we'll all meet seated with the hands at heart center in Anjali Mudra. Mm -hmm. 